Have you ever been in a situation where a colleague asks you to look into your server logs because something's not right and they send you a link to LM logs that's filtered for the last 24 hours? But when you look at the logs, it's very overwhelming. You don't know what you're looking for and you're not familiar with building out additional queries. So with LM logs, I know that I can add anomaly filters and I can see things such as aggregation functions and extract information, but I don't know how to do that. And I also don't have time to try to figure that out because I need to solve this issue. So now I'm excited to announce log analysis as part of LM logs. The log analysis feature will take thousands of log messages and automatically extract key information like severity to get us started. So in this case, I see the log levels, I have a number of warning and errors, and I also have some that are undefined. So now, instead of having to write a query to filter out those undefined, I can just click and exclude. So I'm able to build out my, and filter down to the information that's critical to me. Now, log severity and log levels is not all of log analysis. We also use a library of commonly known negative keywords and phrases that allow us to focus on the log messages that may be contributing to the root cause. In this case, I see some, num uh, some keywords such as error, fields, and nots, and they're pretty much spread out across all of my logs. I can drill down to show those negative phrases, and it will show me each of the log messages that can't contain those keywords, as well as the timestamps. I can also see how often that's been happening over this period of time. So this error requesting a managed instance role token is happening 53 times. When I expand this out, I can see the specific log messages. That's very helpful. I can see right away that there's some issue with my EC2 instances and my AWS permissions. I can scroll down to the bottom and see a little bit more of those logs and, and each of those negative phrases and keywords are highlighted. That's really powerful. I didn't see that on the normal logs page. Now what's even better is log levels, keywords, and any other dimensions that may be shown here are all being attributed to a sentiment score. The log analysis sentiment score is weighted from one to five, one being the least consequential log and five being the most critical. This allows me to know which logs to focus on that are gonna help me identify the root cause. Logs are extremely powerful in telling the story of why something is happening, and log analysis allows you to see those logs quicker and easier. I can also create custom user dimensions for any new value or error message that I want to be tracking in the future. Now, in this case, I can add a custom dimension for that system manager's instance role. So I'll create a dimension name, and I'll call it policy and I'll just apply it to that specific error message that I was getting. Once I have a dimension created, I can add the specific values within that log message that I want to um, weight. So I can put, a, if I want a sentiment of five, I'll add that keyword as a critical um, weight. And if I wanted it to be informational, I'd add it as 10. So if I add this critical and save it, what we're gonna get here is our new custom dimension. Now this is going to be very powerful for me as I continue to troubleshoot the specific server logs. Um, I can add as many policies and dimensions as I want and I can weight the different values accordingly. Right? If there's something that's very critical, it'll be a five. If there's something that's not as critical, it can be a one or a two. Now there are also several entry points to get into log analysis. In this demo, I had started with the logs page, but you can also get to um, log analysis from both LM alerts and from Resource Explorer. When initiating a log analysis session from an alert, I will have the full log diagnosis 15 minutes prior to that alert being generated, as well as 10 minutes after the alert was generated. So those 25 minutes of logs are extremely powerful to understand why something is happening and it allowed me to get to the root cause much quicker and easier. In Resource Explorer, I can see that I had this specific NetFlow collector that has an error on it. I can click on log analysis and quickly troubleshoot and see the log messages that are telling me why this error may have occurred. So in conclusion, log analysis is a specialized hybrid observability troubleshooting tool 
delivering fast and powerful troubleshooting that other log products do not provide. This enables IT teams of all experiences and domain expertise levels to perform powerful troubleshooting.